Dear viewers, greetings. In this video, we are going to see about the spirochete Leptospira introgens. First, general characteristics of Leptospira introgens. At the bacterium, Leptospira introgens is the gram negative thin coil spirochetes and it is motile in nature due to the presence of Ampitrichus flagella and its size ranging from 6 to 20 micrometer in length and 0.1 micrometer in diameter. It belongs to the family Leptospiraceae, capsules absent, endospores absent and the mode of respiration observed in the Leptospira introgens is obligate aerobes. An optimum temperature required for the cultivation of Leptospira introgens is 28 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius in media supplemented with vitamins like vitamin B2 or vitamin B12, long chain fatty acids and ammonium salts. Optimum pH is 7.2 to 7.6 and habitate Leptospira introgens are saprophytic in nature and frequently observed in the stagnant water bodies like lake, ponds, etc. The infectious agent that causes the zoonotic diseases or leptospirosis, uh, this disease is known to affect both humans and animals. Uh, the Leptospira introgens was discovered by the German physician Adolf Weil in the year 1886. So, the Leptospirosis is also called as Weil's disease. Disease transmission of Leptospira introgens. The Leptospira introgens organisms have been found in cattle, pigs, horses, dogs, rodents and wild animals. Leptospirosis transmitted by the urine of infected animals and humans become infected through contact with water, food or soil contaminating urine from these infected animals. Uh, this may happen by swallowing contaminated food or water through contact of the skin or through contact with mucosal surfaces such as eyes or nose. Virulence factors of Leptospira introgens. The ability of the microorganisms to cause an infection is called as virulence. The term virulence was first coined by the scientist Louis Pasteur and the virulence factors are the factors which are responsible for causing an infection in human beings. Here Leptospira introgens have three virulence factors. The first virulence factor is lipoproteins. The second virulence factor is outer membrane proteins and the third virulence factor is flagella. The both lipoproteins and outer membrane proteins uh, supports in the adhesion and resisting complement. And the third virulence factor flagella supports the Leptospira introgens for its modality. An incubation period of Leptospira introgens is usually 10 days with a range of 2 to 30 days. And the infective dose required for causing an infection is variable. Pathogenesis of Leptospira introgens. Uh, the spirochid Leptospira introgens are highly motile, enters the body via the cuts in the skin or through mucous membrane of the eyes, nose or throat. The onset of the disease in humans is variable, ranging from 1 day to 4 weeks after exposure and in survivors, infection can last for months. Leptospira introgens can show disseminated infection by spreading from the blood to all the tissues including the central nervous system. After the disseminated infection, Leptospira introgens multiply rapidly and damage the endothelium of small blood vessels resulting in the major clinical manifestation of diseases like uh, meningitis, hepatitic and renal disinfection and hemorrhage. Organisms can be found in blood and cerebrospinal fluid early in the disease and in urine during the later stage of the disease. And finally, clearance of Leptospira introgens occurs when humoral immunity develops. However, some clinical manifestation may stem from immunologic re reactions with the organisms. A clinical disease of Leptospira introgens. Wales disease is the clinical disease caused by the Leptospira introgens. Uh, Wales disease is a severe form of leptospirosis 
and symptoms can occur between 3 and 21 days from the time of infection. There can be two distinct phases of leptospirosis. They are first phase of leptospirosis and second phase of leptospirosis. In the first phase of leptospirosis, symptoms are similar to those of the flu including high fever, severe headache, chills, muscle aches, vomiting and may also include a rash. First phase of leptospirosis may last for 3 to 5 days. In mild case, the patient will suffer from fatigue and depression. In the second phase of leptospirosis, the first phase leptospirosis symptoms will reoccur. Further, symptoms can vary according to the severity and may include jaundice or yellow skin and eyes, red eyes, abdominal pain and diarrhea. Symptoms can be similar to those of meningitis. Severe cases can also occur the failure of kidneys or liver. Finally, death can occur due to the heart, liver or respiratory failure. Laboratory Diagnosis of Leptospira Introgates The first diagnostic method is microscopic examination. Leptospira introgates are thin. They are at the limit of the resolving power of the light microscope and thus cannot be seen by conventional light microscopy. Neither gram stain nor silver stain is reliable in the detection of leptospira introgens. The dark field microscopy is also relatively insensitive, capable of yielding non-specific findings. A fluorescent label antibody preparations have been used to stain leptospira introgens but are not available in most of the clinical laboratories. Next, called morphology in culture medium. Leptospira introgens can be cultured on specifically formulated media like Fletcher medium, EMJH medium or Helmhausen, McClough, Johnson Harris medium, Stewart's medium supplemented with neomycin and 5-fluorouracil and twin 80 albumin media supplemented with neomycin and 5-fluorouracil. Leptospira introgens grow slowly with the generation time of 6 to 16 hours requiring incubation at 28 degrees celsius to 30 degrees celsius for as long as 4 months. However, most cultures are positive within 2 weeks. Growth of bacteria in culture is detected by the dark field microscopy. Microscopic agglutination test and enzyme linked immunosorbent assay or LISA or the serological test used for the diagnosis of leptospira introgens. And regarding the molecular diagnosis of leptospira introgens, 16S rRNA sequencing and polymerase chain reaction are widely used. Finally, treatment and prevention. Leptospirosis is treated with antibiotics such as deoxycycline or penicillin, which should be given early in the course of the disease. Intravenous antibiotics may be required for persons with more severe symptoms. Minimize contact with fresh water, mud and vegetation that might be contaminated with the urine of infected animals, especially rodents should be strictly followed. Uh, vaccinate dairy cows, rodent control is important. And finally, no vaccine is available for humans to control the leptospira introgens infection. Dear viewers, that's all about the Spiro kit leptospira introgens. Thank you for your support. Thank you.